I don't think I'm ready for this video. I don't think you guys are ready for this video. I'm nervous. I'm in the mood to argue, to rant, and to criticise people's one-star reviews of my favourite books. Were you not, um, reading? I, I don't... I hope you guys enjoyed this video, just for you. Hi guys, welcome back or welcome to a new video. If you guys can't tell by the title, in this video we will be reacting to one star reviews of my favourite five star reads. I thought it would just be a fun, simple, easy idea for my book content. A little sit down video where I get to react to some of my favourite books but in a way that is opposite to how I feel about them and if some of these reviews trigger me you guys will see my full reaction I haven't looked at any of these reviews so you guys will be in for a treat before we start if you're new to this channel welcome my name is Amy I'm so glad you clicked on this video today and if you really enjoyed this video make sure you give it a like and subscribe to see the other of my book content check out my other book content that I already have posted plus my vlogs I have prioritized wellness and life style as well so if you're into any of those things maybe give it a little like and subscribe also follow my socials down below now we're gonna get on to the video i'm stressed i'm nervous i'm not ready for this video but sit back relax and let's get into looking at one star reviews of my favorite books ever i'm so freaking nervous so all we're gonna need for this video is my phone which is good handy so obviously I'm going to be using Goodreads to look at these reviews just because that is where I track all the books I read what I've actually done is I've gone to like all the books I've read ever and I just like sorted it in terms of ratings and I'm just gonna pick some I think a lot of like some books are part of like the same series so I might pick like one book or the book that I love the most and we're gonna look at one star reviews this is gonna be my raw reaction as I've said I haven't looked at any one star reviews of any of these books I'm just gonna pick maybe five to ten books and then maybe pick like one to five reviews I don't know depending on how triggered I get by reading them and if I feel they're juicy enough I'm gonna hopefully pick the most juiciest one star reviews and so obviously we have loads and loads of five star reads to choose from I think I have maybe like 10 to 15 five star reads I don't know I'm going to just like pick books that I kind of interest in looking at one star reviews of so I have a quite of the Akatar series I don't think I want to look at any of the one star reviews for those because I don't want to ruin it so I have Archer's Voice I gave that one a five stars around November time last year so not that long ago and I'm obsessed with that book I loved the vulnerability of both characters how they supported each other their stories the trauma the writing and like everything was perfect and this book had me sobbing laughing kicking my feet and had the perfect amount of smart but not a lot that is like that's all the book is like it had a strict plot it stuck to it it was in depth the characters you meet are very lovable and I really enjoyed it so we're gonna look at some one star reviews of that book let's go and see so this book actually doesn't have a lot of lot of one star reviews so someone said i mean i felt nothing i am in the minority here but i felt so empty reading it nothing about the plot or the characters were convincing everything about it was so calculated and juvenile and i don't mind cliches but this book takes the cake it was cheese galore nope just nope what I'm just gonna drink and that's just triggered me <laughs> I'm not gonna lie that a book was cliche you felt nothing like this book I understand that like, you might not be someone that's emotional but if you don't feel literally anything for these characters I don't I, I don't know what to say because that book, the 
writing was phenomenal um the characters archer if you didn't feel anything from reading his story what is the matter of you I'm sorry to anyone who's written any of his reviews this is just me reacting to them i'm not saying that this is the worst review ever this is just my reaction so please don't get triggered anyone if you're watching this and you're someone that's written this review this is all for the bands um this is just my raw reaction i'm not really thinking about you as a person it's just that that's just triggered me a bit a little bit little bit right we're gonna move to another one you said it's empty and it's cliche I, I don't think it's cliche i've never actually read a book where this type of stuff happens so i'm just gonna have to disagree with that i, I, I do understand the cringiness a bit like i can understand some things were happening i think it's because it's not a typical storyline archer's voice if you've never read it is about this boy called archer he can't speak and well not boy he's an adult and this woman called Bree she moves to a new town she meets him he's quite mysterious there's a lot going on they fall in love yada 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 and I understand it can be a bit cliche because people are not typically used to male protagonists or men in general being like that or being portrayed like that but I thought it was a lot more unique and raw and it gave you a perspective when it came to men um and people like archer and how people can get treated and how like your life experiences can affect you so much and make you feel marginalized not even just that people around you like if you're part of a town that makes you feel marginalized it's not a good thing and that sometimes that one person comes in your life and actually changes everything for the better but i don't think it's necessarily cringy and i will defend archer's voice for the rest of my life so you know i've got to disagree with those comments um and now we're gonna look at another one because i need to right i've just read this review and i've got to read it out loud it says why did i have to read about her teaching him how to be a real person Um, did they not realise his childhood and what they went through? Um, I don't think you could really be... A re and what counts as a real person? Also, everyone's life experiences are different. And he was quite isolated throughout his whole childhood. So he never actually communicated with people. If you don't learn their skills as a child, how are you going to learn them as an adult? Or how are you going to be able to do them as an adult? You don't just like become an adult and all of a sudden people expect you to be able to speak to people. Because if you've been marginalised and treated a bad way your whole life, you're not going to live like a real person or a normal person as this person saying. So... I'm not gonna lie, I'm getting a little bit triggered. I'm getting a little bit triggered. We're gonna read one more, one more review because I'm not gonna lie, these are these are getting to me. Another one from 2022. It says if I wanted to read about stupid men being stupid men, I wouldn't read romance. And don't even get me started on Brie. She was the worst part of this book. If I could give zero stars, I would because not even the covolted, very non-sensual plot who did not take on the characterization and personality of the characters could go over my head boiling and anger at everyone in this disaster what i'm confused i don't really understand that it's about stupid men being stupid. i understand there are stupid people in this book when you read one of the characters he triggered me a lot and i kind of understand that bit but archer if you talk about archer don't get me started. I will defend Archer until I die. He's my baby. I don't really understand that bit about cultivated, uh, convoted, very non-sensual plot who did not take on the character personality. It's just very, very long. Even someone's written great review. <laughs> yeah, we're going to move on. Let's pick another book because I'm getting a bit triggered here. Let's go to, oh, we've got to do this one. We're going to do By the Thread by Lucy Score. This book I read in September of last year. Obsessed. I love Lucy Score's writing. And By the Thread, the tension, the chemistry of the characters. Chef's Kiss. Okay, I found one of our style review. And it says, you're telling me Ali is 39 and Dominique is 
44 but they still act like high school bully romance hero heroine immaturely the most annoying and immature heroine i thought was mara from lawman by kirsten ashley and she was like in her 30s but at like 18 ali is worse don't get started on dom right i understand that but are you not aware that actually a lot of adults act like teenagers so i wouldn't say this book is unrealistic or the characters act I would say they act immaturely at moments, but it's a book. It's a book. I, I agree with this, but I don't agree with it. I don't think it's that deep. It's a book. Um, I would have preferred the characters to be a bit younger, just to make the plot sound a little bit more, you know, tight and make more sense. But also they're like, what's age got to do with it? Because age at this point is a number and... That's all I've got to say on that one. We're going to pick another one. That one's quite lighthearted. I understand where this person's coming from. But to give this book a one star because of that just sounds a bit too serious for me. Very boring book for me. Too long. Enemies to Lovers is my favourite rom-com trope. But it just doesn't done right. Okay, I understand that. I do feel this book was too long. And I did say that. I think... I didn't care because I was connected to the characters. Well, I wasn't connected to them. It was just fun to read. And actually, the groveling was just so chef's kiss as well. And, like, the tension. Like, I think the first glance of reading the book, it, like, pulls a lot of emotions out of me. And that is why I gave it the review I did. And I just felt it was just a light-hearted, easy read. Like, even though it was quite long, it didn't feel like I was reading a book that was long. It felt about 300 pages. So, I agree that you might find it boring. I don't really understand how they find it boring, though, because there's a lot going on. Yes, it's a long book, but a lot goes on in the book. Like, not a lot goes on that, like, there's so much things happening at once, but it doesn't feel like it's a long book. So, I don't really understand the boring bit. Maybe, like, maybe the first 50 pages, but surely after 100 pages it definitely speeds up so i found another review this is the last one we're going to look at i generally like the flirty type of banter in a rom-com style book but it's back and forth straight up pissed me off it just talks about age again it acted like two crazy sex hungry teenagers that couldn't control themselves and it's just embarrassing they were when they did that they were 20 something it bothered me the entire book of the back and forth personally i found it hilarious uh there was tension usually i do understand like back and forth is quite annoying like in terms of uh, the enemies used to lovers but that's kind of what you get when it's enemies to lovers there's quite a lot of back and forth so it's like what were you expecting to get from this read but i also understand as well and there was a lot of it before they finally got together so it says that they just act like sex hungry teenagers i do think the sexual tension was a little bit much i would have liked maybe a little bit more um depth of the book but i just didn't take it too seriously when i read it and i think that's what helped me give it a five stars is i didn't take it too seriously i loved the back and forth the flirting it was just so good yes they're full grown adults but it's a book so I don't take it that personally. The person also ended this review saying Dominic is a controlling psychopath and anyone who finds his behaviour attractive needs the help of a mental health professional. Um, I would just like to say, one, how did you know? Two, why not? And three, uh, do you forget how Lauren Asher describes this man? He, he is fine, fine, fine. And if that means I need to see a mental health professional, how did you already know that I'm seeing one? as well like that's a bit creepy maybe get some help yourself right here we go again this one i'm scared to see one star reviews of this book is actually my only six star read which is one last job by any star i read this this year actually not too long ago and there are some one star reviews right someone said boring okay for this one there's not a lot of reviews there's just ratings people have given it one star why haven't you given it one star why tell me why is it one star yeah not a lot of reviews for this one not gonna lie someone said boring one last job what book were you reading were we reading the same book this book wasn't boring it was so thin as well it's not even a thick book i read this within like maybe two days maybe even less
let's move on it's not even too much to say someone said her boss was public enemy number one and we didn't see a public humiliation didn't even get to witness her being spat on This person saying like they're mad they gave the book one star because there was no public humiliation of her boss why does there need to be a humiliation of that person like, i i don't even i don't even know what to say about that we didn't even get witness her being spat on why would you want to see that in a book anyway yeah i don't really know what what to say about that one I'm just going to move on. I'm really just going to move on. I have so many goodies on here. We have Heartless by Elsie Seal, which I had a five-star read. I think I'm going to do Terms and Conditions for Iris and Declan. My camera just died, so we're going to continue. So I can't even remember what we were on. Now we're going to move on to Terms and Conditions by Lauren Asher. This book is my baby, so I just know I'm going to be triggered by anything that anyone says about this. So it just says, this Declan annoyed me so much with his rudeness and the whiplash of his moods. Please attend therapy for your daddy issues. Why do you think it was rude then? I don't think people understand that sometimes the way people act, I know it's not justifying it based on like how they're treated growing up, but actually, there's sometimes a reason behind his rudeness. And with Declan, that was kind of the point and what the author was trying to get at. And also, I agree with Iris was sweet, like, she, like I loved her, and she didn't deserve to be belittled by Declan, but actually, she was actually able to stand up to him. Like, what I loved about the character is she took no shit from him. like she actually knew how to stand up for herself but she knew when to pick her battles as well so i just don't think that he w did walk all over her i did think she was a very strong protagonist and she was actually able to just like stand up for herself so that i don't agree with and i don't understand how that gives one stars it's okay let's just move on next we're gonna go into this review this review Declan gave me small dick energy <laughs> How? How? My guy literally set billions on her. How does that give small dick energy? And also, have did you not read the spice scenes? Were you not there? Were you not present? Were you not um reading? Uh, uh, maybe you're the one that has small dick energy. <laughs> Now we're going to move on to this one. We are complete opposites. I'm black, he's white. I smile, he frowns. He works out I wouldn't be caught dead in the gym. I knew this was doomed. You couldn't come up with any actual opposing personality traits, truly. I mean, it's one thing if it's supposed to be a smut book, I guess, but it doesn't even happen until the final quarter of the book. I'm not opposed to the rage marriage trope, but this was cringe. Aren't they actual opposing personality types? Like, I know they're not direct personality types, but actually... If someone's black and someone's white that actually has a lot with to do with a personality because I feel like black and white people actually do have a very different personality and outlook to life based on their experiences of life let alone a black woman and a white male also it's a book so stuff about he goes gym and she doesn't actually that is quite opposing personality traits because if you don't really know about gym culture and that a lot of gym lads um they're not very nice to women that don't go to the gym and actually it can have a contrast in your outlook of life in terms of health and wellness because she might think going to the gym is pointless when it comes to wellness but he might think it's a really big thing or he just be doing it to get muscles i don't know but i think they are actual opposing qualities and uh, personalities to actually have again what has that got to do with the book really Iris was there for Declan when he actually needed it like she was his assistant she always took care of him like when he needed to get arranged marriage like she actually agreed because she actually knew deep down he was a good person but I don't know how the arranged marriage trait was cringe I absolutely loved when they were pretending to be married as well chef's kiss that's when the tension came in and that's all I've got to say about that one um I don't even know what book we're on anymore. We're going to end off with a book that, personally, I don't think deserves 
one stars at all if anyone says anything about what i'm about to read so we're going to talk about now only for the week by natasha bishop this book sensational and all amazing so we're going to go to one star reviews for this one why would you give a book one so this person saying the concept was amazing destination wedding the portrayal of young black love messy relationship with loved ones and friendship out with 20s to 30s i adored on the flip side what made me dnf this book was the presence of over exaggerated and stereotypical dialogue making the book overall just cringy if it was really unbearable then you wouldn't have liked the concept and how it was written because that and actually over exaggerated stereotypical dialogue it wasn't some things weren't over stereotypical and also it's a book i don't know how many times i need to say that it's a book you don't need to take it too seriously it's a book in terms of this review, I do agree a bit about the over-exaggeration of some of the dialogue, but I don't understand why it's a one star, because if you actually seem like you liked the concept, but they DNF'd it at 35%, like, the book didn't really get good until the 50% mark for me, personally, so I think this person would have actually enjoyed it if they maybe continued to read. I think there's a lot that happens in this book i think that was what made me have a five star review for this book so i think this person if you watch this video give it another chance you might actually enjoy it but i do agree with the stereotypical dialogue there is a few lines in the book that did make me cringe but overall it was cozy the romance between the two characters i felt that and that was the most important thing in my eyes when it came to reading that book so someone said too much smut for me this book didn't compared to some of the books that i read the smart level was probably a two smart what's wrong with you Smart's amazing it's amazing i do understand as well some people don't like spice but maybe search that up before you go to read a book and next someone also said this was main girl was cringy very unrealistic and overdone i don't think she was cringy or overdone a lot that you could relate to this character because some people actually witness stuff like this in their families she actually stuck up for herself really 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 well and it did take her time to realize her self-worth but i don't think she was cringy so i felt like she was very headstrong especially towards the end of the book not towards the end but like once she meets rome he kind of when you get treated by someone in a good way it actually helps you recognize when you're being treated badly and this main protagonist was very easy to relate to because it does take time and sometimes it's easy for people to say you need to love yourself first before you meet someone and stuff like that but it's actually sometimes it takes another person to actually realize your worth and for you to realize your worth so i don't really know what to say i think that's going to be the end of the one star reviews i think we should need to end this on a five star so i'm gonna get a five star from this book because i need a five star to um get me through it for all the haters out there just read it i can't just i can't explain to you how happy this book made me if you love man falls first man obsessed words of affirmation acts of service he literally rents a yacht for a day for her just to read a book like he didn't even want to be involved he was like here i wrote this out for you here's a book go read it you don't even need to interact with me and he saw that she was reading was like hey can i actually read that book and he was reading it in silence like he let her have that time and she knew and he was very intuitive of her feelings and when she was getting overwhelmed and all the haters bye 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 here this person said i love the discussions about janae being a people pleaser even at the expense of her own happiness just because someone is family doesn't give them a right to disrespect boundaries walk all over you someone said because of all of that that made her cringy as the review says it doesn't make you cringy it actually makes you relatable and actually makes you a person more likely to like be relatable also the character being like that helps like the reader actually connect with them so yeah i think ending with that five star review was a perfect way to end this video because all those one star reviews are now just like simmering in my head actually by doing this video i actually want to read some of these books again you don't like it more for me more for me 
I don't care that you don't like it because that means that I have more to read. Yeah, don't hate on my books. Don't hate on my characters, my book boyfriends, my book girlfriends. You guys are messed up in the head. And that's all we're going to say in the matter. But anyways, this is all jokes. Don't be any serious. This is not a serious video. This is just me reacting to one star reviews. I can be very unhinged at times. But uh, that was a very interesting experience reading one star reviews. Maybe we'll read five star reviews next time of my favourite books to kind of help me and hype me up because after that I'm feeling a bit depressed about some of my books because with me as well I want someone to enjoy the books I like to read so when someone gives a not so good review I just want to throw myself out the window so as I've said just remember this video is not too serious I hope you guys found it entertaining I'm definitely dramatic it's fun to say the least I don't think it was fun um, I'm actually quite traumatised from some of the stuff that people have said I'm still thinking about the person's review that absolutely made no sense they just used so many too big words they used too many big words I couldn't understand it and because of that review seen invalid I hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you like and subscribe if you did but yeah that is it for today's video i love you guys so 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 much stay blessed and as i always say i love you guys and i'll see you guys in the next video bye everything goes white i can feel the breeze euphoric delight only you and